flag for Hove is to have three to five thousand American to leave an impression on the camp to create the American flag. I think the American flag is the, the soul of America. The will keep us together. Will have made this country great. I wanted to create art since I was a kid, but I couldn't. I didn't have the luxury to create. So at 44, I decided to quit everything to create art and to paint. And one thing is that, uh, and this is the first time I'm gonna say, I never dream of anything of being anything in, 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 when I was part of the United States. When I came to the United States, I learned to dream for the first time. In a way, it equalizes people. You want to put America together. You want to put them at the same level. So, to have a homeless person on the same camp in Colombo, that homeless person have the same rights and the same stature of the famous person. That we all are American, no matter where we come from. Now that I've been around the United States and I have asked thousands, hundreds of military people, is that how much people are willing to sacrifice for this country and how much is willing to, how much they love this country, how much they love this flag. For instance, you go, you ask the questions of what does the flag mean to you in another country, and they go, oh, the flag means, you ask somebody in the United States, the flag means this, this, and this. And I died for this flag because remember now that everyone that has been on the flag, even if they never served in the military, had some relatives that have been in the military that died for this flag. That sacrificed for this flag. Remember, there's 300 million people in the United States, so to pick the start of the American flag is possible. People who have changed uh, the American way of life and have contributed great contribution to America and to humanity. The idea was to put John McCain as the first star and Colin Powell as the 50 star to be able to unify America a little better. If I would have never been in the military, I probably would have never been able to do this and I would have never to do half of the things that I've done. I would have never to do the impressions of me. I would have been able to do the fight. I, I, I interview a bunch of um, military people. An old man, very old, I asked him about the military, he said, oh, if they call me, I'm ready to go to fight. I'm 90 years old. And I'm ready to die for that country, for this country, for this flag. I don't think soldier ever changed. 